Hi, Alfredo Ariza from DataView here to talk to you about SQL Server Service Broker, specifically how to monitor SQL Server Service Broker. Uh, Broker is a message queuing uh, architecture built into SQL Server database, which allows you to build powerful asynchronous messaging applications. However, in my view, one of the big drawbacks is there's no good way out of the box uh, to monitor the health of your applications. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Python and Power BI streaming datasets to build a real-time monitoring tool. To monitor your broker environment, you will first need a query that returns pending messages awaiting processing and active reader count. These are just basic metrics which you can build upon, but for the purposes of this demo, I will focus on these two metrics. As you can see, I currently have no flow in my test environment. So to account for this, I've written a really basic Python script which will create some message flow for me. So if I go ahead and execute that script to send some messages through my system, now when I run my query, you'll see I have pending messages and two active readers. And obviously that will change uh, as I run it. Okay, now that we have our query, I'm gonna go ahead and copy that query, and I'm going to paste that into another Python script that I've written that is simply going to loop uh, through the execution of that query uh, and display the results in JSON format. So to kind of show you how that works, I've pasted in the query, I'm going to execute that script and once it fires up, you can see we're just getting the current message count, active reader count, and I've added a timestamp uh, here in ISO format, and that's going to be a uh, key uh, necessary for uh, the Power BI streaming data set. Now it's time to create our Power BI streaming data set. And so as you can see, I'm logged into my workspace and under data sets, I'm gonna go and hit create. And streaming data set uh, is at the bottom of that selection menu. Uh, we're doing API. And we're gonna call it, uh, we'll just call it monitor. And then here we have to identify the elements that we will be adding to that streaming data set. So we had a message count and that data type is going to be number. We had active reader count, also a number. And finally we had timestamp and that is going to be obviously date time. And you can see here, this is the JSON format that we'll, the streaming data set is going to expect. Go ahead and create that. Now here's a key uh, piece of information that you need. You'll see that it's assigned a push URL. And so we're gonna go ahead and copy that out. And now we can go back and modify our previous script. I already have a variable here for API URL. I'm going to paste that in there and save it. And we'll come back to this in a moment. Okay, now that we've created our streaming data set, see it here, monitor, and it's of API access type streaming, we can create our dashboard. Create dashboard, and we'll call it broker monitor. Great. We'll add our first tile. We're gonna select real-time data. And here is our data set monitor. And we will use a gauge and add the value message count. And give it the same title. Slide that over to give us a little room to work. We'll add another tile, 
same real-time data, same data set, only this time we're going to choose a line chart. And for the axis, we're going to use the timestamp we added. And for value, we'll use message count again. Uh, this time we'll call it message count history. And we'll stretch this guy out a little bit. Now I'm going to do the same thing for active reader count. I'll go ahead and speed the video up through this portion because you don't need to watch me click through all of this. Okay, now we have our dashboard built out. So the next step is to populate it. So we'll go back to our Python script and previously I've commented out uh, the post action to our APR URL. So I'm going to go ahead and un go ahead and uncomment that and save it. So now when we run it, we should see the dashboard come to life. Okay, we can see that our metrics are now flowing to our Power BI dashboard. Now obviously this is a very basic example of a monitoring tool that only has two metrics. However, it gives you the foundation for building out a complete solution to monitor your broker environment. I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, please email me with any questions. Thank you.